Buying, customizing, and gameplay of the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to a channel that as a final cry for content, the hunt has given us two last new cars. Now we have to wait for two weeks for anything new, but at least yes, now before the new update, which has been leaked out its mind, I'm not putting them anywhere, but they're on the internet. But the new update looks good, but this update, the hunt, is coming to an end. We fully out of content. But we got an Audi and a Fiesta today. A Ford Fiesta Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro. Looking at it right now. And we're going to head in, customize it, try it out, see what we can do with it. And we're going to go straight into that. But just before we do, always remember that the link is in the description to the Animal City Podcast. Podcast we upload every single Monday. The new episode is out and it will be at the end screen of this video. As well as my Discord server. Uh, love interacting with the community. Love talking to them. Love everything about them. Join that. And also, of course, the new Shorts channel, which is on 74 subs. Go ahead, go over there, subscribe to it. The link is in the description. Get that to 100 subs. Let's get into the video. And here we are. Now, it's not, it's not a Porsche situation where when the Porsche 911 GT1 or whatever it was came out. Because that thing, they announced the Porsche and then just out of nowhere dropped the Land Rover and Moab. Instead, now we had them announced and we have the Rally Cross Expert Bundle. 15% off for the Ford Fiesta and this thing. And of course, a new week, a new summit, the first hunt. I will be streaming that tonight. Subscribe with notifications on to be the first view to the stream. Go check that out as well. It will be on this channel. Rally Cross Expert, let's head over. And here we are with a frozen game because PlayStation, but any day now, here we are. I believe it is somewhere here. Once we get past the, the trash vanity packs, here it is, the Rallycross Expert 89k crew credits, which is a bloody scam. That's a whole motor pass for two cars. Here we go. We'll cop this. Of course, I've got 35.1 mil, so it's not going to be too much of a dent on the money. Here we go. The bundle is now ours. Now, I realize I'm in the wrong HQ, so let's head over to the off-road HQ and let's test this thing. And uh, it's definitely not that. It's over here in Rallycross. Let's find this thing. Oh, and it seems to be the most expensive Rallycross car, but... Is it the best? Now, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm fairly certain it comes very high rated, but I, I don't don't quote me on that. Whoa, it turns quite well. Okay, stop. There we go. It's got cool sounding turbo, I'd, I'd definitely say, but handling wise, I can't lie. It's, it's, it handles quite whoa, well. It likes to, I mean, definitely likes to swing its back out. It is, what's it called? A... Okay, can this thing stop? It definitely needs pro -sanes. This thing is so finicky. Jesus. Oh, it didn't make that turn too well. Okay, I mean, it can jump, but this thing is... It's cool. It's an IRO Rallycross car, which is cool, especially considering that a lot of the Rallycross cars are just dirt spec from the Crew 1 that they just ported over. But now we do have, you know, actual Rallycross cars. And let's look at the interior of this thing. But the, the only problem is, is because this is... Whoa, that's... Whatever that is. But the only problem with this thing is because it's a real life Rallycross car and not a, uh, a a dirt spec brought over from the Crew 1 into the Crew 2. That means I can already, I already know that this thing has literally zero customization. It's almost 100% guaranteed that this thing has no customization, but we'll, we'll go in and check. Well, give it the benefit of the doubt. Here we go, chat. Okay, not chat i'm not streaming right now sid you're not streaming but here we go visual parts and rims yep just as i expected and there's only one set of official rims the rest of them are all um how you say uh questionable oh color we can oh we can edit the color oh let's look at liveries first now of course the cars just come out but okay okay oh nice okay so what are we looking at? What, everything is the lowest effort in the world? Ah, sick to see. Sick to see. Yep. Oh, 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 it's so fun when people just get... Okay, well, six downloads. Okay, not bad. What is... What is this? What is... What is this? This one doesn't look the worst. And I've got good vanities for this one. Because it's red and blue. So, you know, I could actually have some decent vanities on it. But, I mean, I can't lie. Everything else is garbage. I don't want to use the stock livery. So we're gonna go with this, because I have good vanities at least. 
if we head over to the towers I'm looking for, they are one of the rarest vanities in the game. Uh, because these came with the Mitsubishi Star Edition, so they're very rare. And some smoke will do. We'll go with this one, why not? The little, the little, that one. Boost! I uh, 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 red. Underglow! I uh, I uh, I uh, uh, blue. Window tint! <laughs> I'll leave a window tint. Corn, obviously. It has to be Trap Spangled Banner. Now, Topper, not that for sure. I, I, we're not putting a Topper on it. I think this deserves to be not having a Topper. But here we go. It's actually a shame that that is, that is the extent of the customization. Oh, that's horrendous. That's, that's horrendous. But let's at least put some parts on this thing. There we go. Now that there's parts on this thing, I'm not going to lie. The more I look at this livery, this livery really stinks. So I'm going to head into here and I could... These liveries are shocking. We're putting an official livery on it because uh, uh, probably just go with some kind of stripes and co livery just because, you know, race car. Yeah, you know what? We're going with this because, like I said, I don't want to use the official livery, but everything else is just horrendous. Obviously, it will take a while for these uh, liveries to actually get good so that, you know, we can actually use something that looks actually serviceable oh i keep forgetting yellow is the one color that i don't have a good underglow for well we're going with that and everything else can stay the same but that looks a lot better see unu ivory tower can make good liveries but i think now we can definitely toss this thing into a ray and well there doesn't seem to be any pro things for this thing and i was just sitting here for a sec but that's quite an aggressive idle noise but here we go Turbo sounds cool. The engine sounds all right, I guess. Ooh, ooh. This is a decent sounding engine. I can't lie. I can't lie. The engine actually sounds pretty good. I could not care less about American-based petrol company, British oil, or whatever it is. Here we go. Oh, definitely loud, but it handles very nicely. I can't lie. Okay, it definitely needs some processing, but I can't lie. It definitely needs pro settings, but its responsiveness and ability to turn are very good. Like it, it, it carries speed. It's, it's fast. It's, it's all that good stuff. I mean, I haven't really used the uh, Lancer, oh, because I just haven't used played Rallycross in too long. I guess focused on playing Rallycross, but I know that the Lancer's the best. But I don't really know what kind of numbers the Lancers does. I don't know if it's like top speed. I don't know if this thing is anywhere near. But it feels good. Like we're hitting 200 miles an hour. I don't know if the Lancer ever hit 200 miles an hour. Can I stop? Yep, okay. <laughs> it decided it was going very far off the side of the track. But here we go. We're carrying on. We move, we move. It handles nice. It looks cool. It's fast. You know what? For an addition to the game, even though it is just a shop edition, which means it'll be irrelevant in like two weeks, regard unless unless it becomes the best rally cross car, which is if it does, that would be if it does, that would be cool because it's an added car, and Ivory Tower seems to not know how to balance added cars most of the time. So it's definitely likely can't balance cars, and apparently can't even make rocks solid. Hmm? Who would have thought? Okay, so when it turns at high speed, it's not the best. The pro settings can take a deal with that. Right now, we're just dealing with a new car in the game. It's gone quite fast there, but let's throw it into one more race. I have heard that tune so many times. I mean, it handles nice. It, it turns well. All around, I I'm happy that they added this thing. Regardless of the fact that it it's going to be irrelevant, it's it's still cool that they're getting more cars all the time. Because you know what? Ivory Tower, the Crew 2, don't really have the, the, the getting car power that... Oh, nice. They don't really have the getting cars power that Forza do, where they can just... Forza could ask for a car, and like any brand will go, here, take three. I feel like the crew has to really kind of work for their car licenses. And they're doing that, because we're getting more and more cars. And what all these cars, all these more and more cars do, is mean that the Crew 3, whenever that comes around, 
is going to start with a much bigger lineup, which will definitely be good to see. It will be very good to see. That is not a shortcut. Completely made that one up. This is the shortcut. My brain is tiny chat. Not chat. I need to stop saying chat when I'm recording videos. It handles nice, and I'm just known to, for some reason, drive better in first person. It makes no sense, but I've realized recently that I handle best when I'm in first person. No, no sense. Literally, like, literally zero sense. But hey, it's, it's 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 a fun fact, I guess. But let's get a good look at this car. Maybe I'll actually be able to hit the shortcut a bit better now. Here we go. And there you go. Much better. But we'll have to see how good the Fiesta is. See, because both of these cars were leaked, and someone in my chat, in my stream chat, had the Fiesta. They bought it when it was uh, accidentally put into the game early. So, I had them as a reference, and they said that the Fiesta is not very good. So that's that's something. But this was the Audi, some long name, the Audi Quattro. It was the Audi something something Quattro. We used it, we tried it out. It was pretty good, but that's about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. Stay tuned for the next video coming up. It will be on the Ford Fiesta today and then a stream tonight. So stay tuned. That's about it from me in a bit. Shawty, tell me how it feels. Tell me, does it hurt? Tell me if it's wrong when I'm lifting up your shirt. Shawty, tell me if it's real or would you leave me in the dirt? Money can't buy love, so Shawty, tell me what I'm worth. Yeah, baby, tell me what I'm worth. I cannot describe you in a hundred thousand words. I sat up all night just trying to write this fucking...